Deion Sanders asked for investigation of Sun's bankruptcy case. Here's what we found. USA Today Sports. Five different agencies or institutions looked into the incident that led Deion Sanders' son Shiloh I. NTO bankruptcy. This is what they found. Below are your comments. If Sanders was innocent in all of this, he would have proved it in court. Instead, this seems to have been the legal strategy all along. Drag it out, hide all the assets and root income through trusts and LLCs, then declare bankruptcy. If I was an owner of one of the 32 NFL teams, I wouldn't come near any of the Sanders kids in the doctor. Aft because it'd be a circus trying to deal with all their egos, sense of entitlement and the father. Criticizing the team coaches because of his son's lack of production. When Dion. Being a coach is not show business but serious work and too many flashy distractions are negative foe. Are any level of success. Shiloh is not a standout safety. He is 24 years old and if he was any good he would have already been drafted by the NFL. He is not in college for the education, he is still there for the nil money. So Dion, why don't you ask reporters to investigate what happened with your Prime Prep Academy? It was a private school that had multiple issues accounting for all of the money that it received and de-educational issues by adhering to minimum UIL standards. Basically, it was a for-profit football factory that took advantage of talented football players and their families. The players received little to no education, while making scholarship promises that they couldn't k. E.P. Seems pretty simple. Sanders injured Darjean, caused him considerable pain and suffering and intentionally failed to show up to defend himself in court. He owes the money, charge him 25% to 50% of his income until he gets the money paid. Do not let him get out of paying by filing bankruptcy. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.